kids. Tyler Jack time. Kalen Mello on lane number three. Go get him, Kalen. They call her Mello Yellow. Well, I call her Mello Yellow. Kalen rounds up that 10 pin. That increases her odds at the $5. Shot. Yes, it does. I thought you actually had the odds all calculated the way you were gonna. Not. We'll see if she can get the 10. I'm gonna give it a 10.1% chance. Kaylin's got her favorite bowler as her uncle, Ooh. Joey Mello. She'll take a seat. Sonia Richard now, our high bowler by a mile in this game with a 120. Sonia is the sister of Sage Johnson. Really? Who defeated you in Smoke the Shoe, and it's also going to our championship show. What a bid by Sonya. <laughs> that pin so was close, dancing so around. Close. Sonya has her favorite movie listed as Who Framed Roger Rabbit. So that's why Sonya kept asking me, can I have my sister shoot this shot? Because Sage is one of our bowlers this year who's made it. Yep. No, very true. Nice. Sonya takes the seat now. Michael McGinty's turn. I'd like to see Mike make it. Strong first performance from him, and we'll see if he can pat his pockets a little bit. Local bowler. Again, using the hard way. Statistical strong strategy. Chris Walker is favorite pro bowler. Main made it, right? Yeah, main, main kid. Has been on Ken, has he been on Ken Lupin for kids? I think he may have tried once or twice five or six years ago. Has made Comcast before. Very true. Mike looking for the 10. Oh, oh. just the look at the head. Yeah, good. So now it's up to Steven Powers. Puh, puh, puh. Steven Powers has listed as his proudest accomplishment coming in first in Teams on Team Shoe. <laughs> yeah, there's a big Canadian event they have every year. And two years in a row, I've kept score for his team. Two years in a row, their team's won. It's uh, It's been a lot of fun. We've definitely enjoyed it. We've got some interviews up there. We're going to try to do it again this year. Get some good footage from that event and uh, maybe intersperse it through the championship show. So, Steven looking to make it to the 10. He will not. <laughs> so, we will now take a trip in the gutter and then we'll talk to our gold bowlers in the closing interviews. For three years, In the Gutter has been my little segment of the Candlepin for Kids universe, but soulless shoe Gothier decided Smoke the Shoe wasn't enough glory for him, so he tried to take over my segment. Heck, anybody can do this job. Let me take this over. No, this is my thing. This is my part of the show. Josh, who do you want to interview? Me, right? Yeah. What? What? Oh. Wrong. I'm here with... Joshua Daly. That's already better than Rob did, don't you think? <laughs> yeah. I heard you're pretty good at baking. Yes. Now, could you describe maybe some of your more famous or better recipes? Chocolate chip cookies. So what would you say people should take away from that, you know, when, when you have a bad game? What's the best advice you could give to people? Mm, just to calm down and relax. And it works, right? Yeah. If we were to come and ask your sister how good of a brother you are, what do you think she'd tell us? I'm the best. The best brother. Good luck, sir. We'll be rooting for you, and uh, tell me one last thing. What? Way better than Robbie, right? Yeah. <laughs> now, we did ask your sister how good of a brother you are, and I don't believe that was the exact quote she used. Yeah. Yeah, well, you know. This is Shoe Gothier, signing out. In the Gutter is brought to you by Oddball Sporting Goods, your premier online source for candle pin and duck pin bowling equipment. From novelty balls and bags to the stuff the pros use, Oddball's got you covered. That's oddballsportinggoods.com and tell them Shoe sent you. Welcome back to Candlepin for Kids. We're here with our runners-up, Kaylin Mello and Mike McGinty. We'll start with you, Kaylin. On Candlepin for Kids, not your first time. How did you feel up there? Scared. Scared? How did you deal with those emotions? What were you scared of? That I would lose. Well, I don't think personally losing is the worst thing, because I think you bowled really well up there. You were all over the head pin. Were you feeling well when you were bowling? Because I thought you were throwing a pretty good ball. Yeah. Were you getting in a groove up there with anything you were trying to do? Just hit, just um, throw it down the middle. I thought you were doing a good job of that. Uh, you bowled a bowler who's throwing a 120. How is that when you're facing someone who's really doing a good job up there? Make it trickier? Yeah. A lot trickier? Well, you dealt with it well. I thought you were all over the head pin. Thought you had a good match. What did you think of your partner up there? Pretty good. Not bad? How do you think you did, Mike? Um, I probably could have done better with some of the leads that I have off first and second ball. But other than that, I was I tried to stay on the head pin. And you were on the head pin. You left yourself a lot of spare leaves. Was you frustrated by some of the wood you were getting? Some of those shots were tricky. Yeah, sometimes. Like, the wood would be surrounding the pin, and then I'd hit the wood, and it wouldn't give me anything. 
Well, I thought you did a good job keeping your chin up on those experiences. This is your first time on Candlepin for Kids. I know it's tough when you're on the losing side, but what did you think of the day overall? Uh, it was fun. It was, it's been an experience. Any shot we could get you back to these shows? Yeah, easily. I anything you particularly liked about the day? Um, probably just bowling for fun. Well, we had fun watching you. I thought you guys did great. You're going home with $25 gift cards, so thank you very much for bowling with us. Congratulations on a solid day. We now hand it over to Dan with our champions. Thank you, Rob. I'm here where I should be with the champions, Sonia Richard and Stephen Easy Bake Powers. Sonia, what did it take today? I mean, you were on fire in the first half. You said you were nervous. Did you use the nerves to your advantage? No, I kind of had to calm myself down, just take it 10 pins at a time. It certainly worked. Um, your qualifying score today to get here was a 220 something, correct? 305. 305? He was trying to tell me it was 220 something. I don't know where he was getting that from. You were obviously bowling way over that pace. Um, so I am blaming it on Rob behind me. Um, 73 half. Have you had a half like that recently? Yeah. In my Sunday night leagues. Uh, so you've got the experience. This was nothing new to you. Uh, do you feel like, uh, were you nervous at all trying to fill the double strike, trying to win the bowling balls, or were you not thinking about that at all? I wasn't really thinking about it, so. W was it any um, comfort at all having a bowler you're familiar with as a partner? Did that help in any way? Yeah, it helps being with someone that you know, because then you realize that you're not like by yourself. Yeah, Robbie can tell us where your seat is. I don't know if you're the first, second, or third seat, but you guys will get to come back for the championship show. Um, if I ask the same question to Steve, Steve, did it help having her as a partner today? Yeah. How was it getting up there after she throws the 73 half? Did that take all the pressure off you right away? No. No, you still felt pressure? Yeah. <laughs> I had to keep up with that. Well, you did manage to nip uh, your your opponent, Mr. McGinty, by a couple of pins. Uh, did you um, did you make that a special goal to try to beat him, even though the match was well in hand? Yeah, sure. What else were you thinking about the second half? Were you trying to hit the double strike? Yeah. Jenny. Now uh, we talked all about your baking hobby. Do you have any other hobbies other than bowling and baking? Uh, baseball. Baseball. Uh, you pretty good baseball player? Yeah. What position do you play? Third and pitcher. Do you also do all the baked goods for the bake sale? Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. The team must really like you, huh? No. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else either one of you guys would like to say before we turn it back over to Rob for the uh, end of the show? No. Uh, I did see that your favorite bowler was Shoe Sadly, yeah. and you haven't found anybody better yet? No, no, not yet. It's a pretty big compliment, I think. Anybody you'd like to say hi to at home? No. My mom's here. <laughs> All right, well, I definitely would like to congratulate you both on the score. We'll give you your payout after the end of the show. Uh, turn it back over to Rob for any final words. 210, their score. That's good enough for third in our Tournament of Champions ladder. 246 was the high score. It was Aaron Souza and Madison Kelly who did it. That's going to be a really stacked ladder series. It'll be fun to watch. It's a stacked ladder, and third and second are essentially no different. You know, you've yep. got to win to move on. Um, shame it wasn't first, but you know, make you earn it. If anything, when you when you defeat the uh, second place team, you'll be right in the groove because you'll have all that extra practice, right? Yep. They look at it as in the best possible light, Rob. I'm gonna look at something in a negative light. You're throwing me under the bus again for getting Sonya's score wrong. Got it completely you right. You did say 222. I did not, and I'm going to show you right now. Let's go to the replay. magic of editing. Exactly what I said. Kaylin Mello, give her a lot of credit. She's all over the head pin. She had a. 226 qualifying score and she is bowling head and shoulders above that score in this match what a try there both it was Kaylin who threw the 225 it was her who threw the 305 so uh Dan Goth here once again shooting me in the ankle but a fun day here at Canlipin for Kids. yeah it was fun it, <laughs> we probably have too much fun but on behalf of the entire crew thank you for watching us on Candlepin for Kids we appreciated it and stick around watch our 15 to 18 age group next week we'll be watching them alongside Dan Goth here I'm Rob Taylor thanks for watching everybody you told me about that joke you told on Sunday what one did I tell you this time? What's the, I, you and you sick jokes trust me I say <laughs> What would you think if, uh, if you made the show? What would be going through your head? Um, I don't really know. Like, wow, I'm actually on TV bowling. <laughs> that much. Dan, what's going on, Dan? Nice. You got a little candy left. If, uh... Dan, what do you think of the event so far? You know, I think it's been a pretty successful event. So far, I haven't thrown any games under a 140. Um, I like my chances at being on the show. <laughs> Dan's a part of the 18 and up age group. <laughs> the geezers club, as we call it. <laughs>